Hey there everyone, this is Matt for Creative Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at two iPhone 6 Pluses. This is the new one that I was just sent and this is the old one that I will be sending back. And there are multiple reasons why I'm sending it back. Um, one is the battery, but I wanted to show you a bent iPhone 6 Plus and where that bend may originate from. A lot of people have been talking about Bengate as if it exists or doesn't exist or people are just making things up. And when they came out with Bengate originally and they had that video where somebody bent the iPhone just by you know pushing on it and making pressure in the center, of course that's going to bend a phone. But this here is a phone that I've used for the last few months since I received it in November and it has developed a bend in it. And I want to show that to you and I'll explain to you a little bit of why it's developed that bend. And first, before we look too much into it, it has a weak point. It has a structural defect and that is something that is very clear. And if you've been reading up on the new iPhone 6 Plus S and 6 normal S, they will be addressing it by making this portion here thicker. All right, so here's the weak point right here because we have a long portion of the structure and then we have an opening for the volume rocker. But if you can see here, there is a bend. And let me see if I can catch the shadow right about there. I can feel that with my finger right here is where there's an actual bend and if you were to touch it you would feel the interruption now if you look at the phone this way you can actually see the bend it's very slight but it's there and right there is the bend on the other side it becomes kind of a slope where it can be seen a little bit less for comparison's sake here's the uh the new iphone and I got very straight, a single line, no pressure has been put on it. Here we have, you can see it, it's pretty clear there. Bent, new, straight phone. And it's just unfortunate, but it's kind of unavoidable with the way that they made it. It's a very large phone, it's a very slim phone, so unfortunately, there's going to be a a lot of surface area here for the side structure to hold. All right, so here is the phone, and I'll tell you how this probably developed. Um, I do a lot of biking, so while I don't have those skin-tight shorts, I like to wear shorts that kind of are very close to my leg that aren't flapping around. Uh, the shorts that I, I go for are Adidas, and they have zipper pockets, and they, the pockets are pretty deep, you know, deep enough to hold an iPhone like this. So when it rests on my leg, like so, my leg is like this, and it kind of curves. And when I have my phone like this, it will kind of match the curve. And because I'm exerting a lot of heat, that's why the phone can be prone to bending. I'm not the type of person to wear really skin-tight jeans or skin-tight pants, but... I also don't wear those biking shorts a lot of the time. I wear other pants. So it's a combination of wearing normal pants, not putting in the back pocket, but putting it on, you know, one of your two side pockets. And this is honestly what came up. So I know that probably other people have seen this and you know, this is actually something that's developed very slightly. And I just didn't notice it until I pr tried putting my life proof case on. And if you know anything about the life proof cases, they kind of fit. And this is the nude case, N-U-U-D, which forms a seal around here. And I was noticing that the seal was kind of popping. So I took it out of the case, I looked at it, and I thought to myself, is this just something in my head or is this the phone? Um, it turns out it was the phone. And we're about to do another little test here where I'm gonna put this on its face and I'm going to roll it. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other iPhone, the new one, and show you that it doesn't have the roll. 
With the bent iPhone on the right and the new one on the left, let's first see a proper iPhone. It sits here perfectly fine and it doesn't rock at all. Now on its back, it doesn't have, it does have that camera protrusion, so it will never exactly lie flat and you can see some of that going on here. So the first thing I tried, of course, was having the phone on this side and it did have some bumps, but that's expected. But then when I flipped it over, I found that it does have a noticeable bend. And here you can see it rocking back and forth. So I suggest if you have this, you should contact Apple because this is a structural defect. And that's just a pretty clear way of saying that they made a mistake when they made this. It's a large piece with a large surface area and a not enough structure here on the outside to support it. And again, I, my experience what, here was with normal pants and pants and shorts that I wore while biking, not skin tight, but enough where it just doesn't flap around. So if you are experiencing the same thing, you're not alone. Bengate, while the original video is something they just put up to get views, this here is a little bit of a hope to explain that it is a real problem that people are facing and that um, you can do something to fix it here as well. So if you're having that problem, you're not alone. Contact Apple. Hopefully they will send you a new phone somehow, but please alert them that this is a defect because they know it's a defect because if you know anything about the iPhone 6 Plus S, they are fixing it because they are reinforcing this area here. All right, so this has been Matt for Creative Reviews. We've been looking at a bent iPhone 6 Plus along with a non-bent and uh, straight iPhone 6 Plus. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Blogger. Let us know what you like, and I'll see you guys next time.